There is a potential breakthrough tonight in the effort to find the cause of a rare but serious complication of COVID-19 in children. And this has really been a mystery since the early days of the pandemic when some children started falling seriously ill weeks after relatively mild cases of COVID. Our Dr. Frank George is here to explain exactly what scientists have now learned. Doc? Well, Pam and Karen, the condition is called MIS-C, which is short for a multi-system inflammatory syndrome in children. Now, it typically occurs about four weeks after a COVID infection, causing inflammation in multiple organs, which can include the heart, lungs, kidneys, and gastrointestinal tract. Well, now we may be closer to understanding why it's impacted some children in such a dramatic way. It's really a first step. It's a, it's a beginning and not an end, but it's, it, it's a pretty big first step, I think. New research published in the journal Science has identified a genetic cause for why some children infected with COVID develop the potentially life-threatening condition called MIS-C. The exciting thing about this study is it's really the first indication of a genetic cause for MIS-C, and that gives rise to, it opens doors, it gives rise to uh, mechanistic studies, so how did these mutations result in Miss C and can that be used in the future? Dr. Robert Silverman with the Cleveland Clinic has been studying antiviral genes for decades and partnered with Rockefeller University for the research. They found five children with Miss C had the same mutations or changes in certain genes. The genes involved help make molecular scissors that cut up messenger RNA that ultimately caused inflammation in the body. The mutations in these children's genes prevented the scissors from operating or from even being made. And without the molecular scissors, the kids appear to suffer extra inflammation. More than 9,000 cases of Miss C have been reported in the United States and 71 deaths. The average age of kids with Miss C was nine. Silverman says their research is far from over. It could lead to uh, breakthroughs or discoveries about other chronic uh, viral infections and inflammation in particular. Now, symptoms in Miss C in children can include a persistent fever, rash, red eyes, fatigue, abdominal pain, vomiting, and diarrhea, generally in the weeks following a COVID infection. Now, you should contact your child's pediatrician if you are concerned. And Doc, this is really interesting here. Do researchers believe that all cases of Miss C are caused by some of these genetic mutations that they've identified? Well, that's an important question. And the simple answer is no. And the reason is they've only seen it in five of the children that were studied. So there is a possibility that there are other causes or that other pathways involving similar molecular scissors are being disrupted. Either way, though, scientists now have a definite path to follow to learn more and really investigate. Progress is being made. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Doc.